Greetings everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be another Leo reading for the sign for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Also cross watchers as well. So thank you for watching. Let's jump in. I've done a pre-shuffle already. So to outline the reading, we have deception. It says someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Um, we have unrequited love. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And we have healing family issues. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Right, so deception, unrequited love and healing family issues. So let me lay out the tarot. Tap into the energies surrounding this situation. Let's see how it pertains to these messages. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. During this time, we've got the Hermit. We could be dealing with a Virgo. We've got the Page of Swords. We've got the Ace of Cups. So someone's spying here. So I'm going to clarify these cards. Get some more insight. Dig a bit deeper here. We've got the Tower. Scorpio Aries energy. We've got the Hierophant. Taurus energy. We've got the Magician, Pisces. Right, now that I've laid out the cards, you guys, whoever I'm reading for, I can see that uh, you have someone um, that's like fighting for your love during this time. I'm getting with this five of wands energy, yeah, ace of cups, yeah, someone uh, wants a romantic new beginning with you, and uh, they're doing what they can, I mean, there's a lot of conflict here, yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting that this is someone that you're not seeing eye to eye with, yeah, you're actually in conflict with this person, but it looks like they got some strong feelings for you. But you guys are not seeing eye to eye. We've got the tower here. I feel like you've withdrawn from this person. The hermit energy, yeah. You have withdrew from this person here. We've got the tower. It's over. I feel I feel as far as you're concerned, this 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 situation's over. But um they're holding on. It's in reverse. There's someone's holding on here, they're still holding on. Yeah, because I can see they are watching you heavily. They're spying on you during this time heavily. Yeah, with the hermit, this is someone that is really fixated on you right about now. Wow, they're really fixated on you. Yeah, because uh, yeah, you're clearly not focused on them. I can see Queen of Pentacles... Yeah, I can see your focus on on your yourself. Your focus on your finances, career. Yeah, for some of you, you have your own business, and your business is doing well. I'm getting Queen of Pentacles. So that is the energy of someone that's a successful business person, male or female. Yeah, you embody this Queen of Pentacles energy. You are manifesting abundance, I can see. Yeah, this is why you're not focused on this person here because they're just not on your level, I'm getting. This is why. But the thing is, they're obsessed with you. This is someone, that's, they got some strong feelings. Wow, Ace of Cups. <sighs> Why are you so obsessed with me? Wow. You know what? This person's doing the most. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what I see. I see this person um, sending you love spells. This person is doing the most right about now. This person is actually trying to manipulate your energy here so that you don't forget about them. Because this is someone that has a fear 
of losing you here. They are holding on and uh, doing what they can to hold on to you. Doing what they can to probably prevent you from being with somebody else. We've got a magician here. Hierophant magician energy here. This is spell work. This is someone that is a manipulator. And uh, they, they use spell work here to manipulate people. Yeah, so this is being done to you because this is someone that feels you get in the way. So they are manipulating you here. This person's doing spell work on you. I feel like this is why there's a lot of conflict here, a lot of this five of ones, because I feel like it's not working. I feel like it's not working. That's the issue. This is why this person, I'm getting this person's going crazy right now. Because whatever they're doing to try and get you to, to be with them, it's not working. Like, it's actually having the opposite effect. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Uh, because uh, I feel like their spell work is actually repelling you rather than attracting you to this person is actually repelling you. Yeah. We've got the high threat in reverse. You and this person is just not on the same page. It's like no matter what this person does, they cannot get you to uh, come to them, to be with them. And they're trying it. They're doing the most. They're doing spell work here. They're doing spell work. You've got a twin flame connection with this person. Four of Wands. You actually have a twin flame connection, I feel. This is a twin flame connection. You have a soul tie with this person. Yeah, but it's broken. I mean, it's broken because of the deception here. Yeah, we have deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask. Yeah, you're dealing with someone that wears a mask. This is why it can't work. This is why it doesn't work. This is why we've got the tower. It's not working. It's broken. You're dealing with someone that wears a mask here. So I'm saying they hide. They're hiding a lot. This person's doing a lot behind the scenes, I can see. They're dabbling in... um. Black magic here. Yeah, I feel like this is your twin flame here. And um this person is this person is as just as spiritual as you are. Yeah. However you're both uh you you're both opposite. It's like you're you're complete opposite to each other though. That's the thing. I, I, cause I'm getting, I'm getting that, um, what I'm getting is you use your spiritual gifts for love and light, you know, healing, you know, Queen of Pentacles is very healing energy, very nurturing, spiritual. Yeah. You use your spiritual gifts for healing, for love and light here. Light worker. I'm hearing light worker. So you're a light worker. Yeah, and your twin here has the same gifts as you. However, they use their gifts, their spiritual gifts, uh, for dark magic here, for manipulation and control. Yeah, you use your spiritual gifts for love and light, and they use their spiritual gifts for, for darkness, for manipulation control power yeah you guys have completely two different ways of doing things this is, i mean they're very opposite to you yeah because with the hierophant in reverse i can see that this is your person lives a, a very unconventional lifestyle this is someone that doesn't play by the book they don't play by the rules yeah this is someone that um 
they like unconventional relationships. They live a very alternate. They have a very alternative way of living and a very alternative way of doing things. So, you know, I feel like the powers that you use, you use your gifts to achieve success, brings you abundance here. But they use their, their gifts to achieve success through manipulation and control. You guys work two different, uh, have a two different way of working here. You're a light worker, they're a dark worker. But this is your twin flame. But you represent the light and they represent the dark. Because I can see a spiritual warfare going on here. This is a spiritual warfare taking place right now. I'm getting because... Your twin is trying to send you, is dabbling in dark magic right now to try and manipulate you and your journey right about now. Hey. Okay. So your spirit, guys, you're, I can see you're someone that's very, you're highly protected. Highly favoured and protected by the most high because you're a light worker, you know. You're a healer. You're here to, to, to shed love and light on this, on this earthly plane. So you're, you're protected while you do your work. Your angel guys, your ancestors, I can see. They are not playing with this person here, with your twin. They're not playing with your twin. It's a spiritual warfare here because your twin is dabbling in some dark magic here. Um, For some of you, they could be part of a cult I'm getting. Yeah, high foot in reverse, yeah. Your person could be part of a cult or some sort of group where they uh, have um, an alternative way of doing things here. They uh, dabble in dark magic, practice rituals. Yeah, I'm getting that as well, strongly. For some of you, your person is part of a cult here. There's, there's, there's a few people here in this situation. There's a lot of conflict here, competition. Yeah, there's a group of people. You're being gang stalked here. This is this gang stalking. I can see. Wow. Wow. I'm getting that you're winning. This is what it is. <laughs> you're winning. This is a spiritual warfare going on, and you're winning because I can see your person's going crazy. There's people out here going crazy over you right now, trying to fight for your love, trying to fight for your attention. Yeah, because their spells is not working. Their spells are not working. Your spirit guys, ancestors, they are not playing right about now with you. They're not playing with your enemies. Yeah, I'm hearing playtime is over. Playtime is over. Your spirit guys, ancestors is serious right about now. Because you know what? I'm I'm also getting for some of you this. This person has been doing this to you for a while. This is not the first time I'm getting as well. This person has been doing this to you for a while. But you have ascended to the point where you're so protected. Uh, you're unstoppable now because you're winning. Queen of Pentacles, you're winning. You've gained high ranking, high status here. Their spells is not working anymore, I can see. Your, their spells is just no longer working. It's backfiring, I can see. Yeah. It is backfiring. Yeah, from you withdrawing here. F pull back your energy from this person. Yeah. It was the right thing to do because you're. it's clearing the energy now. Your spirit guides can clear the energy now. Your ancestors are working to clear this negative energy that surrounds you so you can, you know, attract this abundance, this love and light and abundance. Because I can see you are in alignment here with love, a new beginning in love here. We've got the four of wands, stability, you're in alignment. You are attracting that love and light into your life. You're getting blessings coming in here. And someone here is either your twin is trying to stop this coming in for you here because they can't stand to see you with somebody else. This is what I'm getting. They're so jealous over you. They can't stand to see you with someone else. So they're trying to manipulate your journey here by doing spell work on you here to make you even not forget about them. 
to make you or to slow you down or to stop people, stop this love coming in for you, this stability. It's, it's something because this person feels like you are leaving them behind and they can't stand to see you with somebody else. I mean, it looks like this is someone that's dangerously in love with you here. They are dangerously in love with you. Yeah, it's an unrequited situation. Yeah, because they're stalking you heavily. They've got people stalking you. There's a group of people here. That's going crazy over you, I feel. I feel like there's more than one person that you're leaving behind here. You got a few karmics that you're leaving behind. They're all jealous, watching you in their feelings, trying to do the most here. You got one in particular doing the most though, doing spell work and everything. Wow. Doing the absolute most. Uh, yeah, your twin. Yeah. Doing the absolute most. Let's pull some more cards here. Before we close out this reading, you guys. You got the runner. You're running away from this connection. This is what it is. This spell work's not working. Whatever they're trying to do to pull you in is actually repelling you. You're running away. You're running away. Yeah. Running away from this connection. Yeah, we have self indulgence, focus on self, self worth, time to heal, shadow work, self appreciation. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's all about self indulgence, focusing on yourself, your self worth. This is it. Uh, yeah, healing. You're on your uh, road to healing and recovery. Healing from toxic relationships, you know, heartbreak. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Uh, your spirit, guys, is uh, is helping you heal. So right now, they're clearing out all this negative energy, spell work. That's uh, trying to block you from, from healing here. Yeah, we have addiction. Codependent obsession, possession. Yeah, this person here is completely obsessed with you, you guys. And they're very possessive as well. They're very possessive over you. They cannot stand to see you with someone else. They're going crazy over you. So they're fighting for your love right about now because they made. I feel like there's competition for you. Yeah, there's competition for you during this time. Oh, Twin Flames. Yeah, for some of you, this is your Twin Flame. Doing the most. Yin Yang, Zen, Balance. See, yeah, you're the balance for this person. Because you're the light and they're the dark. It's, I feel like um, for you guys to, to work things out, to get together here, you're going to have to compromise. You're going to have to... <laughs> there's going to have to be some sort of compromise here because... <laughs> You guys are just repelling each other right now. Or they're repelling you, but you're pulling this person in, but they're repelling you. I mean, there's going to have to be some sort of compromise here because you're a light worker and your person's a dark worker. This is the light and dark here, yin and yang. So to in order to come together, you're going to have to find some sort of compromise, find a balance here so you like you guys can work together here. Otherwise, this person is going to continue being shut out because your spirit, guys, is not playing with your person right now. That's why they're going crazy because they feel like they are being shut out and left behind here. But it's because of the dark magic they're dabbling in, the company that they keep, the lifestyle that they're involved in. It's just not for you. Oh, snake. Yeah. Your twin is in this karmic energy. They vibrate in a very low and dirty, low down and dirty energy. The snake. Uh, they're trying to be clever here and malicious. Yeah, this is why um, your spirit guides and says they're not playing with your person. Playtime's over now. Yeah, their spells is backfiring. They're getting their karma. Yeah, not today. Not today. Yeah, spirit guy says not today. Yeah. But they're not giving up. We've got the chaser. This person's not giving up. They're doing the most out here. They are not giving up on you. There's a fear of abandonment here. They feel like you're leaving them behind. Uh, but you're a light worker, so you're all about attracting love and light. 
So good luck with the situation, guys. Thanks for watching.